Is it any environment benefit of the circular economy for civil engineering? If you have been following our blogs, you may have read in detail about circular economy and its various benefits. Today we are going to talk about the numerous benefits which the circular economy offers to civil engineering. Let's explore now how the circular economy model approach is favorable for civil engineering. It is debatable that the approach of the circular economy has the capability of bringing a significant change in civil engineering and infrastructure projects specifically. The key to this guideline is keeping up with the most utmost resource worth of materials. While keeping misfortunes from the framework, so keeping up with items and materials that are being used is highly crucial. If reusable materials in use are found to be impaired, they can cause loss to the system. Therefore, the accomplishment of this item and procedure restructuring, just as new plans of action, will be a key development. The possible solution to this is different life cycle assessment tools that give data on the level of reused content in materials and items, and empower designers to test material choices to recognize where saving funds can be made just as investigating which end of life situations will decrease the effect. Fundamental investigations have observed substantial advantages for embracing this methodology as it identifies with analyzing and directing sustainable engineering activities. Advantages of Circular Economy for Civil Engineering The grave issue of surpassing global resources consumption can be tamed down by adopting the circular economy approach. Enables to conserve tones of significant materials and products. The circular economy model plans to eradicate the linear model concept where natural resources are increasingly extricated, utilized, and disposed of toward the finish of their life without considering the sustainability approach. On the other hand, material proficiency is at the core of circular economy methodologies in development projects. Just as planning for transformation, dismantling and safeguarding the worth of materials past their underlying use. A major calculated shift is to consider structures for their main role yet in addition as a technique for conserving huge loads of important products and materials, which can be exchanged and reused toward the finish of the structure's life, rather than disposed of. Bestowing a vision to designers. When following the linear model approach, it may happen that the civil engineers, while designing and conceptualizing the infrastructure projects, do not consider the lesser usage of materials utilized for the entire life cycle of the building. On the other hand, the circular economy model approach offers a shift of vision for the civil engineers working on a construction or an engineering project. Civil engineers should intend to decrease the general measure of materials utilized over the lifetime of the structure. They should contemplate if a material decision will bring about more substitutions of refurbishments. Just as inclining toward reused and sustainable materials over essential and non-renewable sources. Enables to save more. With the application of the circular model approach in the built environment, the construction and engineering industry can increase the saving funds. Using reusable and recycled materials and products will prevent them from purchasing resources and materials worth billions of dollars. Considering the possibility to save 60 billion pounds in essential assets by 2030 in the European Union, 3 and to add pound 35 bn to London's GDP by 2036, for there are evident benefits to embracing circular economy principles across the entire industry. This would mean revising the manner in which projects are secured, planned, built, worked, and redeployed. The World Economic Forum in 2016 suggested that embracing circular economy standards could essentially improve worldwide development industry usefulness. Also, it would save approximately 100 billion US dollars every year. Restoration for efficient building conduct. 
recovering and re-establishing regular capital in the built environment, restoration permits effective structure execution by lessening negative externalities, utilization of essential assets and waste. This assists with defending, re-establishing and incrementing the strength of biological systems. Encouraging the use of low-effect designs, materials, and activity of assets and structures additionally assists with diminishing the negative social, natural, and monetary effects of the built environment including toxic emissions, junk, contamination, and related costs. Improving system performance, Streamlined resources, items, and frameworks are those which work at the most extreme productivity and execution. So how could streamlining slash optimization be accomplished in the constructed environment? The goal is to keep up with materials and parts at their maximum worth while utilizing plan and development cycles to augment effectiveness, support reuse, and redeployment, and wipe out junk.